Strontium-90 and Strontium-89 detected at the coast of California. As consequence of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear meltdown at Fukushima. Spent fuel pools went atmospheric. Troops on the USS Reagan went directly through plume and many of these sailors are becoming sick and dying. The plume was so strong it stopped the sailors' wrist watches on the deck of the Reagan. The impact of the earthquake and tsunami in the east coast of Japan in March 11, 2011 caused a loss of power at the Fukushima first. It was the whales and apex protests that started dying off in the Pacific. Then the squid. And now the sardines Daiichi nuclear power plant that resulted in the largest releases of artificial radioactivity to the environment. Although several works were devoted to evaluate the atmospheric dispersion of radiant clids, the impact of the discharges to the ocean has been less investigated. Here we evaluate the distribution of Fukushima derived 90 SR and 89 SR throughout waters 30 to 600 kilometers offshore in June 2011. Concentrations of 90 SR and 89 SR in both surface waters and shallow profile. Fukushima derived radial strontium was mainly detected north of Kuroshio current, as this was acting as a southern boundary for transport. The highest activities were associated with nearshore eddies, and 15 larger inventories were found in the closest stations to Fukushima and PP. The data evidence is a major influence of direct liquid discharges of radial strontium compared to the atmospheric deposition. Existing 137. Used in future studies to track waters coming from the east coast of Japan. Liquid discharges of 90 SR to the ocean were estimated, resulting in an inventory of 53 plus or minus 1 TBQ of 90 SR in the Ichiro study area in June 2011 in total releases of 90 SR ranging from 90 to 900 TBQ, depending upon the reported estimates of 137 CS releases that are considered. Radial strontium, and in particular 90 SR, T1 half equals 28.9 A, is an artificial radiant flood that has been liberated to the environment in the last decades mainly due to the atmospheric nuclear weapon testing performed in the 50s and 60s and the direct releases 5 to the sea from nuclear reprocessing facilities. Given that oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, much of these releases of 90s are now reside dissolved in sea water, EEA, 2005. Concentrations of 90s are in oceans are summarized in the World Marine Radioactivity Studies, WOMERS, and a global 137 CS 90s are ratio of 1.5 has been established. As its chemical behavior is similar to that of calcium, strontium is deposited tend in biological systems, especially in those tissues with high calcium content such as bone. The highly energetic 0.546 MeV beta particles and the additional exposure to the 2.2 MeV beta particles released during decay of this shorted 90 white water isotope makes 90 SR radiant flood of health concern, ICAP, 1993. However, not much literature exists on the presence of 89 SR, T1 half equals 50.52 D, in the oceans. This radiant clid is also a primary fission product. As a result of the earthquake on March 11, 2011, and subsequent tsunami, radiant clid contaminants were accidentally released to the environment from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, NPP. The emissions of artificial radiant clids both to the atmosphere. In particular, 134 CS and 137 20 CS concentrations at the nuclear power plant ocean discharge channels peaked in early April at levels that reached several millions times higher compared with the pre-existing levels in this area. Although temporal changes of 131 I, 134 CS and 137 CS concentrations in surface water adjacent to Fukushima have been well documented, releases of radiostrontium to the sea are poorly documented, Pope and get all. 2012. The main reason for this lack of data resides on the difficulties of pre-concentrating and analyzing 90 SR in seawater. The five recent study by Povink et al. 2012 has been the first report assessing the impact of radiostrontium released from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to the marine environment. The data on 90 SR in coastal seawater near the discharging channel in Fukushima Daiichi and PP were obtained from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, MEXT. 
Concentrations of 90 SR reached up to four orders of magnitude greater than the pre-Fukushima levels, 1 BQM310. Between March and November 2011, maxima activities of 90 SR and 89 SR were of 69 and 9.3 kvqm3, respectively, but even higher values were reported after a December 2011 accidental discharge, 400 and 140 kvqm3 for 90 SR and 89 SR. This study is part of an international project, which aimed at understanding the 15 amount, type and fate of radioactive materials released to the Northwest Pacific Ocean and see whether the Koshio current was acting as southern boundary for radioactive transportation in the marine environment. This is the first survey of 90SR and 89SR up to Japan after the Fukushima and PP accident in March 2011. In particular, here we evaluate the distributions of 90 SR and 89 SR released from Fukushima in the water 20 column in an area encompassing 30 to 600 kilometers off Japan in May June 2011. A total of 57 20 L seawater samples, both from surface and vertical profiles, were collected from the R slash V Kermaka Ilkanaloa, KOK, between 4 and June 18, 2011, Figure 1. 25 sample codes, collection date, locations, depths, salinity and temperature of each sample are provided in Table 1. 2042 BGD 10, 2039 to 2067, 2013, 90 SR and 89 SR in seawater off Japan and Kisikuberta et al. Resurface waters were collected using a deck mounted pump and hose which was placed about to and below the sea surface. A pre-filter cartridge was used to remove the suspended matter. Deeper samples, 10 to 200 m, were collected with Niskin bottles mounted on a CTD slash reset. Samples were spiked with 200 mg of SR2 plus 5 and stored for a subsequent analysis at the Universitat Autonoma di Barcelona and Universitat di Sevilla. 2.2 90 SR purification and quantification through 90 Y counting by proportional counter once in the laboratory. Samples were weighted and acidified with concentrated HCl. The purification method for the analysis of 90 10 SR was based on the protocol described in Wappel's in Dorlandini, 2010, and adapted to seawater samples by Kisikuberta et al. 2013. The method consists on the measurement of the daughter of 90SR, 90Y, T1 half equals 64H, which is in equilibrium with 90SR, by beta counting. Samples were spiked with 10 mg of stable Y, and 30 mg of fate 3 plus as ferrous sulfate was added to the SAM, minus 15 pills. After letting samples equilibrate overnight. pH was raised up to 8 to core precipitated trim with the iron hydroxides. The precipitate was then collected onto an nitrocellulose filter, 0.22 microm, 14 cm, Wedman, and subsequently dissolved in 20 mlHNO3, 8 m isolation of yttrium from other beta emitters, mainly TH, was performed by passing the solution through an N9 exchange column, by O red AG1, X8, 100 to 200 mesh. 20 V 8, 40 ml of HNO3, 8 m, was then evaporated to reconstitute the sample in 20 ml 1 m HCl. A further separation on a Keshin exchange column, by OLED AG 50 WX8, 100 to 200 mesh, was required for the final purification of yttrium from lead isotopes. Sample was transferred to the column in 80 ml of 1 m HCl, where I did wash the resin. Finally, yttrium was eluded by adding 30 ml 6 mHCl recovered by precipitation 25 using thick hydroxides and filtration onto an hydrocellulose filter, which was dried and placed onto a beta holder for the measurement of the 90 Y beta emissions. Samples were measured on a 5 position beta counter manufactured by Riso National Laboratories, Rausko, Denmark, during 60 min intervals over approximately 60 to 64 H filters were remeasured after one week and three weeks to verify the detected counts corresponded to the decay of 90 Y and no other beta emitters, including 91 Y, T1 half equals 58.5 D, interfered. The chemical recovery of yttrium, which ranged from 5 10 to 85 percent, was assessed by determining the stable Y concentrations by ICP mesonaliquates of the digested filters. The conventional radiochemical procedure, Harvey et al. 
1989, applied for isolation and purification of the 89 SR 90 SR and the supplied supernatants was based on an initial oxalate precipitation, followed by a transformation of the oxalate precipitate into carbonate by calcination. To 550 C subsequently, calcium was mostly eliminated by fuming acid precipitation, followed by the dissolution of the precipitate in water, its 20 evaporation to dryness and its posterior dissolution in nitric acid. Barium was afterwards separated from strontium by formation of barium chromate precipitation, and yttrium was removed by two successive hydroxide precipitations. Strontium was finally purified by its precipitation with a saturated solution of sodium carbonate, subsequent conversion of the precipitate to strontium nitrate by adding concentrated HNO3-25, the dissolution of the precipitate with hot water, and the final precipitation of the SR's SRCO3, by adding again a saturated solution of sodium carbonate. The final SRCO3 precipitate was homogeneously distributed over the counting plant could and dried until constant weight in a desiccator. The radiochemical yields were determined gravimetrically and double-checked by ICP MIS in a selected number of samples. The presence of natural SR in samples was considered after its determination in aliquots by ICP MIS. The quantification of 89 SR and 90 SR was performed by using a 10-channel low-level 5 proportional counter LB790 Bertel technologies. Two measurements at different time intervals were performed to determine the concentrations of 89 SR and 90 SR in the sample under study at the time of sampling. The first one was performed 36 to 72 H just after the 90 Y separation and the second one at least 18 days after the first measurement. In all cases, each measurement was performed during at least two cycles of 10, 600 min. From the net counting rates obtained in the two measurements, the activities of 89 SR and 90 SR were determined. Results concentrations of 90 SR and 89, 15 SR and seawater samples collected at the different stations and depths ranged from 0.8 plus or minus 0.2 to 85 plus or minus 3 BQM3 and from 19 plus or minus 6 to 265 plus or minus 74 BQM3, respectively, see Table 1. 3.1 90 SR and surface seawaters activities of 90 SR and surface seawater samples ranged from 1.1 plus or minus 0.2 to 85 plus or minus 3 BQM3. 20 of the highest concentrations were found along the northern coast of Japan, being particularly enhanced about 100 to 200 kilometers SE from Fukushima, at stations 29 and 30, figure 2A. The concentration of 90 SR and surface samples from nearshore stations ranged from 10 to 85 BQM3. The lowest activities were located in the southeastern areas of the studied area. Inventories of 90 SR in the upper 100M were calculated for the six profiles closer to the coast, figure 5. These inventories were in all instances higher than the expected inventory of 90 SR for this area prior to the Fukushima accident, calculated assuming a background 90 SR concentration of 1.2 BQM3 in the water column, that is 120 BQM2, 25. Station 23 holds the greatest inventory of 90 SR, 2511 plus or minus 102 BQM2, followed by stations 27 and 29, these last ones corresponding to the stations that presented the highest 90 SR concentrations at surface. 89 SR results in surface and shallow profiles 89 SR was quantified in 19 samples, table 1, and concentrations ranged from 19 plus or minus 6 to 265 plus or minus 74 BQM3 in surface waters, reaching a maximum subsurface value of 137 plus or minus 43 BQM3 at 50 and depth at station 23. Up to 5 to 6 months, uncertainties were larger than 40% in some of the measured samples. Impact of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident in seawaters off Japan contrary to other ready includes such as 137 CS, 134 CS and 131 I, Hisamatsu, 2012, the 10 amounts of radiostrontium in the form of liquid radioactive wastes released to the sea after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident are less known, mostly due to the more complex and time-consuming analytical procedures used for its determination. However, as the cooling water directly interacted with ruptured nuclear fuel rods, large amounts of radiostrontium may have been released directly to the ocean as well. 
Indeed, our results of 90 SR and 89, 15 SR in both surface seawater and depth profiles show the clear impact of the Fukushima nuclear accident in the waters off Japan. Before April 2011, the main 90 SR source in the Japanese waters was due to global fallout from atmospheric weapons testing, including the influence of 11 Chinese atmospheric nuclear weapons tests in the 1970s, Ikuchi, 2003. Just after these events, the average 90-20 SR concentrations in the eastern coast off Japan were between 4.3 and 5.7 BQM3. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident produced an increase of the 90 SR concentrations in the waters off Japan, such that three months after the accident values were one to two orders of magnitude higher than the background in some areas. Fukushima-derived radial strontium was present not only in surface waters but at depth, reaching maximum values of 37 plus or minus 3 BQM3 at 20 and the presence of 90 SR in the waters off Japan derived from the Fukushima nuclear accident was accompanied by the presence of 89 SR. Given its short half-life, 50.5710D, the occurrence of this radiant clint is a fatal signal of the Fukushima-derived release. Moreover, the 89SR-90SR slash ratio pointed to be Fukushima-derived radial strontium, as the decay corrected ratio measured in this study, CSECT. 4.3 is in excellent agreement with the ratio reported for the reactor core inventory on March 11, 2011. Distribution of 90-15SR in the coast off Japan Three assumptions were made for discussing the 90SR distribution in the waters off Japan in May June 2011. Both CS and SR behave geochemically similarly, figure 2, in the waters off Japan, as both are dissolved in 20 seawater and to the weak interaction to sediment, Iia, 2005, Pope and Get All, 2003. And, EA, most of the 90 SR left in the KOK sampling area at the time of the cruise came from the direct oceanic discharges, as it was the case for CS, Ripina et al. 2013. After the radiant plug peak release, 90 SR and sea waters would be dispersed and distributed through the Japanese coast according to advection processes occurring in this specific area of the Pacific Ocean. I. In particular, this is a region where three main currents converge, the Oyashio, the Kuroshio and the Tshuguru currents, tally it all. 1995. The Oyashio front is defined to be the southern limit of separate waters with very low salinity, which are driven from the north to the south coast of Japan, figure 6. On the contrary, the Kuroshio current originates in the subtropical genre, consisting in low-density, warm, high-salinity surface waters, coming from the southwest of the Japanese coast, figure 6. Finally, the Tshuguru current, not present in May-June, is a source of five warm and saline water that enters the Sea of Japan through the Tsushima and Tshuguru Straits. Using data from surface drifters released during the KOK cruise, Ripina et al. 2013, performed a numerical model to investigate the dominant mechanisms governing the short-term spread of radiant clouds in this area. From their model, and similar to 137 CS results, it can be stated that I, the absence of the 90-10 SR at the southernmost stations, stations 1, 2, 3, 14 and 28, was attributed to the Koshio current, which prevents for a southward progression of Fukushima contaminants such as 90 SR. E, the largest concentration of 90 SR were shown to be associated with a semi-permanent nerve radiance during them for a long time around the eddy perimeter, stations 29, 30 and 31. And, E, the intermediate 90-15 SR concentrations at the westernmost row of stations, stations 25 and 27, were explained by the coolant water that continued to leak from the reactor after the peak release. In addition to the dispersion of radiostrontium in surface waters off Japan, 90 SR may also have penetrated into deep waters, either by diffusion or advection processes, as shown by our measurements of Fukushima-derived radiostrontium down to 100 to 200 and depth estimate of 90 SR discharge to the sea. Several works have been devoted to quantify the amount of 137 CS released to the sea due to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident, ranging from 3.5 to 34 PBQ. This study is the first survey of 90 SR and 89 SR of Japan after the Fukushima and PP accident in March 2011.
Concentrations of 90SR and 89S are detected at 32 stations, including both surface and shallow probe files, ranged from 0.8 plus or minus 0.2 to 85 plus or minus 3 BQM3, 25 and 2052 BGD10, 2039 to 2067, 2013, 90SR and 89SR and seawater off Japan and Kasekuber to et al. Title page abstract introduction conclusions reference and tables figures JI JI back close full screen slash s printer friendly version interactive discussion discussion paper discussion paper discussion paper discussion paper from 19 plus or minus 6 to 265 plus or minus 74 BQM3 respectively. While the occurrence of 89SR is an evident signal of Fukushima derived releases, the activities of 90SR measured in some stations reached values to orders of magnitude higher than the background levels reported in this area. The 90SR slash 137 CS ratio has been calculated to be 5 0.0265 plus or minus 0.0006 in mid-June 2011, although it may have varied, especially after a significant leakage of contaminated waters that occurred in December 2011. This ratio is unique and significantly different than that of the global atmospheric fallout produced by nuclear weapon tests, which was 0.63 and it may be used in future studies to track waters coming from Fukushima. Results of the samples analyzed here evidenced a much ten stronger influence of direct discharges of cooling water into the sea in the oceanic background concentration, rather than atmospheric deposition. Direct discharges have been quantified on the basis of the estimates of 137 CS discharges in the 90 SR 137 CS ratio, resulting in a range between 90 and 900 tetrabcarols of strontium 90. Some of the research was paid for by the nuclear industry numbers likely higher.